Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with another AITA story for you from Reddit. This one is titled, Am I the Askinaut for Not Inviting Girlfriend to a Group Event? Lately, my girlfriend hasn't been going out with me and my friends. She stopped attending events with my friends after feeling unwelcome at a wedding where the bride ignored her. I didn't confirm or deny her suspicions about my friends disliking her, but they indeed prefer my ex. That friend group from the wedding I've known for 20 years. My ex was a part of that friend group as well and my ex fit right in. My girlfriend is very introverted and serious. She comes across as standoffish, though she's actually quite sweet. I like to joke and say she has RBF. She doesn't smile much, and she's very pretty and comes from money, so she's a bit of a snob. Well, that doesn't help. I'll invite her to a barbecue, and she'll pop up in her Sunday best. Meanwhile, everyone looks like they rolled out of bed. Our social differences are becoming apparent, but that's not my main concern. Recently, my friends came over. We had planned on going to an amusement park and then a bar. It was two couples. I figured she wouldn't want to go, so I didn't bring it up. Ooh. Before they left, one of my friends got us all some takeout. I also figured my girlfriend didn't want to do takeout, so I didn't put an order in for her. Boo! My girlfriend again eats very healthy. When I came back from my plans, she was upset saying that I didn't consider her feelings, but I did. I asked her to go with me plenty of times, and she's declined if my friends were coming. She said she was mad she had to cook lunch while we all had takeout, and then she also was the one who had to clean up after they left their takeout containers on the table, and apparently one of my friends was a messy eater, and she spent three hours trying to figure out how to get stains out on the rug. I would have cleaned it up once I got home, by the way. I didn't expect her to clean up after my guests. She said she was going to be home all day, so did I expect her to just sit in a dirty house? And that I probably wouldn't have cleaned it until after the day because I'd be getting home late. She essentially said she felt like the help and said it would be different if I met up with them, but I invited them over. Nobody talked to her. Nobody asked her anything, yet they left trash for her. And then when they all came back, nobody even remembered how they left the house and that she had to clean it. In my opinion, I feel like she's complaining about something insignificant, but what do you guys think? Was I wrong for not inviting my girlfriend when she has said no every other time? Also, I don't know what she expects me to do with my friends if she doesn't want to be around them, and they really don't like her. Am I the astronaut? This is not an easy situation, but there is an easy solution. So, uh, you essentially took action without talking to her first. And that's where this got here. I would say you are under an obligation to either continue asking her every time or get to a point where she has created enough of a precedent like you say she has now where you could assume that she doesn't want to go, but you still have to ask. Not every time, but it would need to be something like this. Hey, uh, friends are, are looking at doing something sometime in the next few days. Um, I'm assuming right now because you have said no the past 20 times that we've gone and done something that you do not want to go to any events moving forward with my friends. Are you okay with my assuming that you don't want to go? And then if you do, you can let me know and we'll we'll change things up. You just made the decision to take that precedent and start applying that to everything without giving her the choice. It's because her choice was taken away. Yeah, she probably would have said no. Yeah, she probably wouldn't have eaten the takeout. But... Because her choice was taken away, she felt excluded because she was excluded. Does that make sense? If you're going to start making decisions for her, at least get her permission to start making decisions for her, right? I feel like that's the right move here. I feel I feel like that, yes, yeah, she, she has been excluded. excluded and yes, he, she's done that to herself to an extent, but he's still under an obligation to, to ask. Or to get carte blanche. But I feel like that has to be a conversation. I feel like he screwed up. I feel like he did screw up here. And and when we got to the end here and say you say, in my opinion, I feel like she's complaining about something insignificant. I hope we're the only people you're saying that to. I hope you didn't come out and be like, I feel like this is insignificant. Um, or say that this is a silly thing to get upset about. Because we know, we know uh, those are, that's how you end up chewing on sock. Julie, also, who lives a complete mess and not including their, after not including the significant other and then treats her this way? Yeah, it's not great. It's not a great look, OP. Um, I think the more important question for you here is, are you willing to endure a relationship that is completely siloed from your friends? Are you ready? Are you, are you okay with that? Are you ready to live a life like that? Is she? 
Because right now it's already creating some complications and you have to communicate through them. And, and this, again, this was another communication problem. It's always a communication problem, but, but this was a big communication problem because there was an assumption made without that prior communication. And then leaving the mess didn't, didn't seem, <laughs> leaving the mess didn't help your case at all. Again, a communication thing. If you plan on cleaning up later, say, hey, babe, don't touch that, please. I will get to it whenever I get back. Easy peasy. It's not hard to do. But leaning, you just left, so she assumed she's got to clean it up because she didn't want to just walk around it all all day. The siren was a paid actor at me. Yeah, it shows up often. <laughs> Settle down, police car. Sounds like he didn't think about her at all. Um, but he, I, I understand where he said he did. He did think about her. He did consider her feelings. He did think about how she would react. He did think about how she would probably say no. He just did it for her. You start taking choices away from people and uh, they feel boxed in, right? She felt powerless because she was powerless because you took her choices away. You think he's still on his ex? The friends were. The friends still are. The friends are definitely still on the ex. Thought He did think. He did think about it. He just didn't. He, hmm, that's tough. He thought about it. He just used those limited thoughts and made an assumption with him. 